Are women telling the truth or are they just saying something that doesn't make them sound shallow? Whenever I ask women what do they find attractive in a guy's personality, they often say, oh, I want a guy who treats me with respect and kindness. Um, well, I'm respectful, I'm kind, and I'm a pretty good guy, so why did I used to always get rejected by women? What they really mean is I want an emotionally damaged man who's only kind and respectful to me. I know a lot of lost girls that just want to win over the bad boy archetype, but they only want them to be soft for them. You know what bro, even good girls, they want a guy that's rough on the outside and soft on the inside. My girl is even like that too. There is one thing though that both women have in common. They are attracted to you for the same thing they don't want you to have. Can you guess what that is? This one thing makes women chase you, love you, and buckle their knees. And the reason they don't want you to have it is because they want to win the game. And what is this game I'm talking about? It's the game of turning attraction into love. And women hate losing that game so much that they will employ any tactics and tricks that make you fall head over heels before they do, bro. Because once you fall for them, it's over. They won the game and they're no longer interested in pursuing you. Your job is to avoid their traps, pass their trials, and win the game by being emotionally superior than them in this one thing. And this thing is called self-control and in this video I will break down self-control into four attractive traits that women don't want you to have because it would mean game over for them. The first attractive thing that women don't want you to have is self-control over your emotions. If a girl sees that she's easily able to make you like her then obviously she doesn't want you bro because if she's able to make you fall for her then what's to say any other girl won't do the same thing with you she wants a guy that's special to her not a guy that can be easily influenced emotionally by any other girl that comes in his life think about it like this if a girl is interested in you do you think it's gonna turn her on if you're fully obsessed with her if you're calling her texting her always available and attentive to her obviously not man they want you to be stoic in your character and not fall for their emotions but isa if they like me and if they're interested in me wouldn't they want me to like them back Yes, bro. But as soon as you confess your feelings to her, it's game over for you. Right now, your balls, your testicles are in your body, right? You confessing your feelings to her is basically like you giving your testicles in her palm. Like you're giving your you're giving your manhood in her hands. And now she has control over your manhood, and you have become more feminine than she has. She doesn't want a more feminine person than her, bro. She wants a masculine guy that has full control, that has a fucking basketball on his court, bro. Do you really think it's attractive for a woman to have control over your balls like that, man? Just ask yourself that question. I'm being so serious. Wake the F up, man. There's a reason why you keep getting rejected by girls over and over again. They don't want you confessing your fucking feelings to them. So you might be asking me, okay, so how do I control my emotions if I'm genuinely interested in a girl and want to make it work with her? Self-control is the most difficult thing to master. But if you can control these two things, one, your sexual desires, and two, your cheap dopamine, then you will be set as a man. Now, if you want to know how to control your sexual desires, just go watch my last video on why sexually disciplined and men get what they want. Now, what does it mean to control your cheap dopamine? Cheap dopamine is when you get instant gratification very easily for a very cheap price or no cost at all. These examples include corn, video games, fast food, TV, media, drinking, and smoking. These tend to be easy to access and gives us instant pleasure, but they cost us a fortune in the long run. Their expenses include depression, anxiety, poor social skills, lack of purpose, and the thing we're focusing on today is heartbreak and rejection. If you can exchange your instant gratification for delayed gratification for things like meditating, journaling, running, walking, exercising, anything that delays your pleasure, then you will build millionaire dollar habits that women will be so attracted to. If you're able to have full control over your inner demons, over these cheap dopamine traps, then how are women going to have control over you, bro? There's no, nothing can touch you at that point. If you can master these things, bro, there is no woman that will master you, man. Honestly, we should be thanking women because they set these traps for us to challenge us to be the man that we need to be. The last thing you want is for a girl to give it to you easy because it lowers your value as a man and lowers her value too. You don't want a girl that's giving it to any guy, bro. You want a girl that's only going to give it to you and that is what forces us to grow as a man and be different and special to that girl. And it's the same for her. She doesn't want a guy that any other girl can have. She wants a man that she can't have and this is why she rejects you every time you confess your feelings to her. They want to chase you and feel comfortable in your presence that you will lead her to a fulfilling life together by being able to control your emotions and be a stoic character. The second 
attract the trait that women don't want you to have is power. Power is defined by the amount of influence you have over the behaviors of others. And power gives you more value to control your options to how many women you have access to. The three things that give a man power is connections, finance and status, and your health and fitness. This is gonna sound crazy, but the amount of connections you have shows how attractive you are to a girl. There's something about a man with connections that makes him look very powerful. When a girl sees that you have a connection for everything, it shows that you have a good reputation, good social skills, and that people like you, so it gives her a reason to like you too. Plus, it's sexy as fuck when you can get into the best spots without having to wait in line. When I first started dating my girl, I'd impress her by going into restaurants that are really busy and managers coming and approaching me like as if he's my boy and she'd be looking at me like, who the fuck is this guy? And I'll be able to get like free appetizers and it just makes you look cool. Like it's just a fucking swag thing to do, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Because I have eight years in the hospitality industry, I know a bunch of people that work in hotels and different types of restaurants. So I kind of know everyone in one restaurant or another. So whenever I go out with my girl, she always gets surprised by the amount of people I know and how much, you know, per we get from the food so just by me having all these connections her experience is now elevated just because she's with me how cool does that make you look bro so to build great connections there's a couple things you can do whenever you go to restaurants ask for the manager and make sure to give a compliment to their restaurant and if you can get their social media or even better their phone number then boom that's the connection bro another thing you can do is when you're in public just spread positive vibes i once approached this 65 d's personal trainer and I just basically told him, like, I complimented him on his, like, physique and I asked him for questions on my form. And then I got his phone number and now he gives me free dieting and training advice while I give him free spots to restaurants. The last thing you can do is go to local events like networking places and just, you know, make your connections there. You know, give your business card if you have one or just try to give value in any way by asking questions, spreading good vibes. And I'm telling you, your network will go up. Just do these three things and I promise you, people are going to like you and want to be around you and you're going to be known as that good guy that spreads good vibes and you're going to just attract good things that come to you. I always live by this model. A good attitude reflects a good life. And more importantly, the greater the connections you have the more power you will have the more attractive you will be to the girl the second thing you need to have power over is your finance and status women need to know that you will financially be able to take care of them and hopefully their future offspring and family because they're not here to babysit you or get you out of a slump they want a man that can take care of themselves and there's a reason why women are attracted to a guy with a stable income a secure career and a high status job because it shows that the guy is very ambitious and very real when it comes to making money she needs to know that you're a man that she can trust with her future kids her family her security her finance her responsibilities that you'll pay the bills the house Bro, you just need to get your finance together because it goes a long way for a girl. It gives you the kind of power to make any decisions you want. And when women sees you have that kind of buying power, they're going to want to join your team and just be more attracted to you. So get your bag up and see your options of women increase tenfold. The third thing you need power over is your health and fitness. Again, this is another superficial point, but I don't care, man. This shit is too important. I always say that it doesn't matter how successful you are financially. If you are not fit, if you're not taking care of your health and fitness, bro, you are the ugliest person on the planet. I don't care, bro. Even to men, you're just unattractive. There's nothing more unattractive than a lack of power towards your health and fitness. You need to get that to your fucking head. And a woman will tell you that they don't care about this. But bro, who do they always end up with? The Giga Chad with Zeus's body. I'm telling you, it is important. You will attract more people. You will get better job promotions. People will like you more overall because it shows that you have more self-respect towards yourself. And because you have more self-respect towards yourself, people and women especially will respect you more. Bro, take care of your fucking health. I don't know how many times I need to say this. Get it through your thick skull. Optimize your life around your health and fitness and see your woman be attracted to you. People that take care of themselves will also end up taking care of their woman, which makes it that much more attractive to you for a girl. A girl also wants you to lead her and challenge her. If you are more physically fit than the girl, she's gonna wanna take care of herself and look good for you too, bro. So stop being a bitch and get these, bro. It's gonna be worth it. You're not gonna regret it. So if you have power over your connections, your finance and status, your health and fitness, your attraction will increase by so much to the opposite gender, bro. Just do it. The third attractive trait is self-respect. What I mean by self-respect is living by a set of rules, values, and boundaries that you fucking die by. 
If a woman doesn't respect that you don't want her looking like a hoe, then you tell her peace out and look for a woman that will respect you. Bro, I don't give a fuck how many hate comments I get on this, but I am allowed to have preferences over how my girl dresses, how she behaves, and how she represents herself because she is a representation of me. It doesn't make any sense for me to be with a woman who dresses provocatively and wants to go out and draw attention towards herself. It's more than fair for me to say that I want a woman who dresses modest, doesn't call me disrespectful words because I'm not your baby one day, then your dog the next day, doesn't overstep on my boundaries, and doesn't put herself out there drawing all this attention towards her. It's fair for me to say all these things. These are my preferences in a girl. If you don't like that, then that's fine. I just don't want to be with you. It's that simple. So don't let others call you insecure or misogynistic just for having preferences and self-respect for yourself. The people who have opposite viewpoints of me and think they should dress however they want or do whatever they want that's fine i'm not arguing against that do whatever you want bro it's your life live the way you want but just let me live mine as well because i'm seeing people call too many guys like me insecure for having these preferences values and self-respect but honestly it has nothing to do with insecurity i personally get very turned off by women who do that so it's fair for me to say i don't want to be with a girl like that you attract the girl by the values you hold let me repeat that you attract the woman by the values you hold. If you have self-respect for your values, then a woman will respect you too. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You are able to get a beautiful woman who dresses modestly and shares the same values as you. By living with a set of principles, values, and rules, girls will be more attracted to you because it shows that you're not willing to compromise who you are for any other person on this fucking planet. Remember this. A man that respects himself will respect any woman that enters his life. And there's nothing more attracted to a girl than a man having self-respect. Lose that and you will lose the girl of your dreams. Listen, men are already at a disadvantage playing this game with women and we must do anything it takes for us to increase our value to make us the best possible option for these women. And if you follow my advice, I guarantee you, you will increase your chances at winning this game with women. Guys, I want you to succeed and win at this game. So let's stay on our grind and level the F up. I'm going to start opening applications for my relationship coaching program. My first call is a free 30 minute consultation session. So if you're a good guy with good intentions that wants to better their relationships, then hit me up, man. I would love to work with you. Click the link down below and I'll see you then. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. It really supports me in the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next video.